Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. It's been about 10 days since I uploaded a video on the Square Drop Camper build and I thought I would put together a little quick video today to uh, get everybody back up to speed on where I'm at with this build. In the last video I had just finished up putting the spars in and although I didn't take any video of it I uh, finished the inside walls and the ceiling and started doing the wiring. And if you look close, you can see there's some uh, masking tape where I'm marking the ends of the wires so that I'll know uh, which one's which. The wires are going to be going through a hole in the front of the camper and they'll be connected to this switch panel here. There's uh, five rocker switches and a USB port or actually a couple of USB ports. And then there's also a cigarette lighter style plug on it as well. Here's a picture showing the wiring all coming together and going through the center of the front of the camper. There's a, a three quarter hole there. And on the inside, there's going to be a shelf with, uh, I guess, some cubby, cubby storage or, uh, you know, kind of like cabinets. And that'll be uh, where all those wires will be hidden. And that um, switch panel will be mounted to the center of the, those cabinets. The other end of the wires will all be connected to this fuse box which I'm going to be mounting in the back end of the uh, galley kind of over in the corner and I think I'm going to uh, power this thing rather than with a battery of some type I think I'm going to use some kind of power station either a Jackery or a Blue Eddy or maybe an EcoFlow or something those are the three that I'm taking a hard look at but I'll want to just uh, go that route I think instead of a battery. So with the wiring done I can start doing the insulation and uh, I'm going to have to run to uh, Lowe's or Home Depot 1 and get another sheet of the insulation to finish this up. I started running low and then it started raining on me and I had to stop uh, because I was working just outside the garage there so had to uh, call it quits for the day. If you enjoyed this video please consider leaving a thumbs up and if you're not already subscribed please consider doing so and make sure you hit that little bell so you get a notification every time I upload a new video on this square drop camper build. And until the next one thank you very much for watching.